two metal discs made one mounted on an arbor to go onto the mill to start the tedious process of engraving some graduations around the edges Well that's one done, I only need to go halfway around because I won't need to go more than 45 with it. Alright, undo this one, mount the other one up, I ain't got to do so many on that, I'll just do 20, well 40, I only need to go 20 one way or the other, won't need more than that I don't think, maybe 50. Alright let's get the other one done, this is like pulling teeth for this job. So that's the second one done. <clears throat> I've only got 60 degrees on this one because it'll be set in the middle and it'll only need to go 30 degrees either way. There'll be, <clears throat> they should be somewhere like that when they're on the, when I get them joined up. I also milled a little flat on the top of this just so I can register it in case I need to mill this off at a right angle with each other just so I've got a register on there I'm glad that bit's done because that's a bit long and boring but necessary so my next move is to cut a bit of this I'm going to have this fixed onto it here and that's going to fix onto there I need to cut it out a little L shape of some description on there so that's my next move cut this to shape this little fella made thank heavens for the bandsaw right I need to mark these surfaces up now and drill the holes to place the uh, discs on so I shall pop over to my new surface plate blue these up and find the centre mark them up and drill and tap them
And that's him bolted up. I cleaned up some of the uh, machine marks off of this, but I've no click spring. Right, that's now ready for my first attempt in anger. A bit of MIG welding. Hopefully, that's all in the right orientation. Right, I need to charge the camera up, sort the MIG welder out, and have a go at it. Well, as with any welding I do, this is going to need a whole lot of cleaning up with the angle grinder. So the finish of the welding and that leaves a lot to be desired, but I'll clean that up a little bit more. But for now, what I am quite surprised about is can just about get a five foul feeder gauge in there I thought that might have twisted a bit more out than that so I'm quite pleased with that I've got to put it back on the mill and square it up eventually um, I've got to get an hole right through it so I can bolt it on that angle plate and get it on the mill but I'm quite pleased with it I really don't know how I've done without this surface plate I've only had it for five minutes and I use it all the time it's one of them I mean it is a tool, but it's one of them tools that don't really do anything and there's always a million cutter or something you want for the same money. But I'm really glad I bought it, I should have bought one ages ago. Anyway, that's it. That is the culmination of this week. Onward and upward. I think I'll finish this one here, it's getting a bit long, do a lot more cleaning up on this, get it on the mill and square it up and uh, get on with the next bit. See you in the next one, bye for now.